a little bit of a hazy evening in the Seathwaite Valley. It's just uh, gone five o'clock <coughs> uh, in early September. Uh, just walked a little bit above uh, Styhead Beck. Just stopped for a little breather. That's looking over towards Glaramara. And then that's all the way up sort of uh, the Seathwaite Valley. I'm heading up there. Base Brown is just up there somewhere. Quite a steep little path. Uh, what a lovely evening. Hoping to camp somewhere Kirkfell, see how far I get before the light fades, but I'm heading over Base Brown, Green Gable, Kirkfell, so we'll see how far we get. So we're on Base Brown Summit, not a huge amount to show you actually because it's a bit hazy still. I um, just see Glaramara over there and Seathwaite fell over there. Scarfells are all in cloud, uh, Green Gables up there next fell I'm heading to and Great Gable you can't see. Uh, Brandreth and Grey Knots over there, Dalehead nice by over there and then there's just glimpses of Derwent water and the Borrowdale Valley down there so uh, yeah a hazy panorama uh, so it's taken me an hour and a half to get up here and uh, I think that's the bulk of the hard work done I think it doesn't look too bad up to Green Gable then I'm gonna head along to Kirkfell See if I can camp on the summit of there tonight. So let's head on. Welcome to Green Gable Summit. I wish I could show you more views, <laughs> but uh, it's very hazy. The weather forecast didn't have this at all. It had a clear night, uh, cloud-free fells. The only thing it's got right is there's no, there's no wind. There has been a few spatterings of rain as well, which also wasn't forecast. Anyway, you can see Windy Gap down there, and that's pretty much about it. Great Gable would be standing proud in that direction. And that's the way onwards. I've uh, just walked up from Base Brown. I counted 18 cairns on a relatively short stretch to get up here, which is complete overkill. I don't know if you can see them down there. Absolutely no chance of getting lost on the descent from here in fog. Anyway, not much to see. Um, I'm off to Kirkfell now. Green Gable where I've just been. That's Great Gable. Hiding. Still looking ominous though. 
that's Cape Fell. I'm heading next. And that's the Ennerdale Valley. It does look like a little bit of a break in the clouds up there, so you never know, I might be lucky and get a sunset. But uh, I'm not overly hopeful. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Morning from camp. Bit of condensa condensation on the bivvy this morning. The sleeping bag is a bit damp. I'm just on the side of Kirkfell. Got some uh, breakfast on the go. Don't know if I'll get a sunrise or not, but maybe. Guys, looking a bit pinky over there. Great game. Scarf elves. And back around. Ugh. Reasonable night. Uh, hardly any wind. enough. Uh, just a bit of condensation really on both the outside and the inside of the bivvy so that was wetting the outside of the sleeping bag a bit. It didn't get through to the inside but uh, be a worry if I had to do a multi-day camp. Great views from up here. So I'm going to head up to the summit in a minute because I didn't quite get there last night because I ran out of light. It got dark. Secretly fell on that. Okay, so this is the summit shelter of Kirk Fell. Got a lovely morning. Sunrise about an hour ago. 
Scarfells over there. Ridge. Lots of new fells over there, a bit hazy. You can see Grassmore in the far distance there, uh, Robinson, Tailhead, etc. Then over towards Grey Gable. Uh, I'm going to skirt Grey Gable next on my way around to Seathwaite Fell. Okay, so I'm on the little path that winds its way around uh, um, Great Gable. Uh, sort of winds its way along the scree slopes on the Wasdale side and then I've just emerged from there to lovely views right down the length of Waswater and over to Lingmel and Scarfell, Scarfell Pike over there. It's a bit like the Climbers Traverse route this on Bowfell. It, it's sort of uh, it's a bit difficult to follow at times, it sort of appears and disappears. There's a few cairns to help you, uh, to guide you around. Uh, but it's a real little uh, meandering path that goes along the shoulder around there somewhere. Uh, and then I'm hoping to head down to Sprinkling Tarn, um, Stihead Tarn, sorry, and then on to Seathwaite Fell. Great Gables, way up there somewhere. But by choosing this little route, it's, it prevented me after having to drop all that height down there to pick up the main path. And I'm hoping to see Nape's Needle, which should be around this corner somewhere. So I think this is really a rock climber's route, really. Okay, so this is Seathwaite Fell, Wainwright number 149, I think, if my maths is correct. That's looking over to Grey Gable, Green Gable. 
brand dress in the background, beige brown in front. That's looking back down the valley towards Sea Tollow where the car's parked. Uh, that is Glaramara all the way along the ridge into the sun towards uh, Great Crags I think it is and then we've got Bowfell over there Great End leading up to Scarfell Pike Lingmel and back round again Pretty impressive panorama from such a little teeny fell. <laughs> <laughs>